Victoria Leisure Centre, Nottingham. It was the afternoon after the night before. Lee had just driven 200 miles for his second bout of the weekend. I got up early and I've been on the road for four hours. I want to crash out. Another day, another town, another fight. But this time the stakes had changed. I don't really feel that confident, but I'm going to win anyway. The previous year, Lee had won this tournament as a lightweight. But this time he decided to set himself a real test and fight at middleweight. That meant he was taking on the big boys. Everyone looks a lot bigger than me. I don't feel good enough to fight lightweight, let alone middleweight, but I said I'll do it, I'm going to do it. Lee's will and skill were about to be put to the test. Before he knew it, he was walking into the lion's den to face the British champion because he said he would, and there was no going back on that. But saying it and doing the business are two completely different things. I know that a lot of people say you learn more from your defeats than you do from your victories, but I don't think that's necessarily true. I think that's just something that losers say. <laughs> The rules for this fight were again devised by the promoter who claimed a clean safety record. Although the boys were bare knuckle, shots to the head were a no-no. It was a tournament for the grapplers. Within a minute and a half, Lee was gaining the upper hand, literally. Once again, he pinned his opponent with his legs and then twisted that arm until it couldn't twist no more. Fight one to Lee Remedios. Good boy, you see his face? <laughs> I mean, like, it's not bad strength. I've fight big guys, I've beat them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's British champion. Yeah. Next up, the final. Nottingham, and Lee was next up. He could talk the talk, but could he walk the walk? I don't think he wants to be filmed in that. For me to be filmed, that's what I'm saying. Period. They're big guys, they're big guys. Not too far away, Lee's opponent was psyching up. It's okay. He's going to shoot. That's how he does. So, he's going to try and watch that. So, it should be fun. It should be fun. You're up next. Do you want to get yourself ready? I'm playing losers. I'm playing winners. I know what I've got to do. You know what I've got to do. If you think the guy can beat you, he has beaten you. He's already beaten you. There's no point in fighting, right? If you think you're going to lose, you will lose. In Nottingham, Lee was in the final, and he did it to confuse his opponent by trying a new tactic. I just knew he was expecting me to shoot in and grapple, so I faked the shoot and softened him up with a few kicks first of all. Caught my toe and then thought, oh, bollocks for this, I'm going to shoot in anyway. <laughs> if, you, if you do know what the sport's all about, what techniques are actually involved, you can see when guys are grappling, what they're trying to go for, it, it, it's, it's a whole different story. People talking about like the monstrosity of like two guys getting in there and trying to tear each other apart. It's a sport as any other sport and if you really look you can see the skill that's been applied and Lee has proved that he is a skilled technician. Six minutes into Lee's fight and the technician was going strong. He was trying to manipulate his opponent's arm toward the position he so loved. But this time his opponent was putting up some resistance, trying to keep his arm protected. There was still some work left to do in this tournament. I expect people see me as a thug, you know. I don't, I don't expect any different to that. It's what I think of myself that matters. I think I work exceptionally hard for what I do and um, I think I am one of the smartest fighters out there. Not necessarily the hardest, but one of the smartest. Once Lee had the arm straightened, 
the bout could only go one way and so could the arm. Yet another submission, yet another victory. I don't look forward to going out there and, and giving the beating. I look forward to going out there and winning. Lever Medios is lined up to do a master's degree at Kent University.